new jig coming through all that crazy stuff not huge but decent Like I was saying, um, that's one one. you're always going to catch the biggest ones with this, this chick. But the uh, thing I'm really loving. ability to be able to come through stuff. Um, there's bass in here. I just got to weed through them. But I can't do that if every other snack or every other cast I'm getting snagged. So, you gotta have, I mean, you know, I'm not gonna say which jig is the best, and, and this is stained water, so, you know, I'm throwing black, got a green pumpkin trailer, but I switched trailers, My, I was just using a watermelon, um, ugly otter, this is a pocket chunk, um, I'm also using a chigger craw, um, a black, blue flake chigger craw, um, just switching it up, but, like I was saying before, if I can't get through this stuff, it does me no good. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen them, that they're down there. I actually, the other day I had them, they were following it as I was bringing it up. So, um, I know they're down there. It was just windy as, as I'll get out. But, um, if you're a jig person, even if you're not, this weed guard and this head design um, help give you the tools to, to be able to get your jig through stuff. It's just like, you know, a crankbait, crank, some crankbaits have different wobbles. Yeah, I do like the action of some of them better than others, but um, some of them definitely shine. Um, like, I like the wrap of the crank and wrap um, as far as deflection. And I'm talking about specifically about the coffin bill. I like their square bill too, but their coffin bill. It's like the egg. The egg for me, I don't know what it is, what about that lip design, but shallow water, it shines. Um, coming through, lay downs, stumps, um, just even brush. So, you know, this jig is just this jig and their um, swimming jig or their blade bait. Worth checking out. 